Welcome, Ukraine War Update today. The Russian-installed governor of Sevastopol in Crimea said that air defenses had downed 10 drones over the city in what he called a failed Ukrainian attack. Sevastopol, which is on the Crimean Peninsula that Russia annexed in 2014, has come under repeated air attack since Russia invaded Ukraine last February. Russian officials have blamed the attacks on Ukraine. Governor Mikhail Razvozayev said all the drones were downed over the sea, with no damage to any infrastructure. Air Defense and the Black Sea Fleet shot down 10 out of 10 Ukrainian drones over the sea, he said in a post on his Telegram channel. He denied reports in Ukrainian media that there were explosions in the city and said air defenses were continuing to monitor the skies. Ukraine has demonstrated the capacity to hit Russia with surprise attacks in Crimea, far beyond the front lines of fighting in South and Eastern Ukraine, though it typically refrains from claiming responsibility. In October, Russia said Ukraine had attacked the Black Sea Fleet near Sevastopol with maritime drones, which it said it managed to destroy. In August, Russia's Saki Air Base in Crimea was hit by a devastating attack in which satellite imagery showed at least eight warplanes were destroyed. Ukraine's Air Force says that it cannot destroy Russia's Soviet-era Cage-22 supersonic cruise missiles. That's another reason, they said, why Ukraine needs more advanced air defense systems, like the Patriot Pac-3, and the Aster Samp slash T. In addition to attacks on critical infrastructure, we see that another target was a residential building in Dnipro, which was hit by a KH-22 missile. Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Ignat told reporters during a press conference on Monday about the attack which sparked outrage in Ukraine and beyond. I emphasize that it is impossible to shoot down KH-22 missiles with the means we have in our arsenal. At least 40 people have died in relation to a Russian missile strike on a Ukrainian apartment over the weekend, authorities announced in the latest update on the situation. Search and rescue efforts have continued since Saturday's, January 14th, attack on the multi-story building, which houses about 1,700 people, in the city of Dnipro. The regional administration confirmed that 39 people have been rescued, at least 75 were wounded and 30 are still reported to be missing. The apartment did not house any military facilities, according to residents. European Union Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell referred to the strike as inhumane aggression as it directly targeted Ukrainian citizens during what is now an 11-month invasion launched by Russia. There will be no impunity for these crimes, Burrell said in a tweet shared on Sunday, January 15, via NBC News. The incident follows recent incidents of Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities, which included missile and drone attacks on civilian areas during its nearly one-year invasion of the neighboring country. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced his country would conduct military operations in eastern Ukraine during an NBC News translation of a speech addressing the Russian population in Moscow on February 24. The announcement appeared to serve as the final action ahead of an attack by Putin and the Russian military, which the US and European allies to the neighboring Ukraine have attempted to prevent from taking place through diplomatic discussions.